In this video, I'm going to answer the question, which platform is better for bloggers, WordPress.org or Squarespace? This is a question that I am asked all of the time. And unfortunately, I don't feel that there is very solid information or there's some mixed information out on the internet. So I wanted to clear this up for those who are looking to create a website and potentially make money from it. Choosing the right platform is important not only for flexibility, but more importantly for SEO and the growth of your website. Now, if you're short on time, I'm just going to come out and tell you that the best platform to be on if you want to be a professional blogger is WordPress.org. Not to be confused, with WordPress.com, which is actually a hosted platform that simplifies website creation and manages it for you. WordPress.org is an open source platform that you will need to install on your web hosting. And in order to actually utilize WordPress.org, again, you will need to have some type of hosting, something that I will cover in another video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, so it's not an open source platform, hosting is included with Squarespace. Now, if you're completely confused at this point and you're thinking that I'm using some words that you might not understand, don't worry. It's not as complicated as it sounds. I know that WordPress.org can be a little daunting, especially because you will have to create the website yourself or hire someone to do it. I don't always recommend that, but it's actually a lot easier than you think it is. And in the long run, it is going to be better for your website as a whole. So let's talk talk about the differences between WordPress.org and Squarespace. WordPress.org is infinitely better because it offers greater control over certain SEO aspects. Squarespace does offer some basic SEO settings, but they do not go into depth with optimizing for SEO, which is really unfortunate because this can actually decrease your website's ability to rank on Google for certain keywords or phrases. This means that you will have fewer and fewer people coming to your website simply because you don't have the same SEO optimization options options that you do with WordPress.org. Now, again, I am probably going to get some people in the comments telling me that Squarespace is wonderful for SEO and that they've never had a problem. But I can almost guarantee that if you switch from Squarespace over to WordPress.org, you will likely see an increase in traffic as long as you're doing proper SEO optimization. Squarespace does have the basic SEO structures, but again, they do not have the advanced structures that are built into WordPress.org. As a professional blogger and niche site owner myself, I have many, many websites that I have built specifically with WordPress.org because I don't even want to bother with Squarespace if I'm going to see more traction with WordPress.org. However, I am part of many blogging groups on Facebook and through other masterminds, and I've seen people in there talk about Squarespace and WordPress and the differences that they see in traffic by by moving from Squarespace to WordPress. I'm actually going to show you some of those examples because, again, I don't have personal experience with it. I've always gone the WordPress route, but I want to show you what other people are experiencing when they move away from Squarespace and to the better platform, which is WordPress.org. As I mentioned, I am in many groups where I'm surrounded by professional bloggers, particularly those who use blogging as a full-time income. Now, a lot of these blogging groups are verified, so you must prove that you have made a significant income from your website in order to join them. This is not information, tips, or tricks from people who might not understand how to blog professionally or how to do it right. And so I just wanted to point that out. So it's very safe to say that this information is very credible. So the first post that I found in one of these Facebook groups is, has anyone moved from Squarespace to WordPress? Was it worth it? Did it affect your SEO? Difficult to learn. Thank you so much. And the person responded and said, yes, it was the best thing I could have done. It's really worth having control over your site on every level. It's not hard to do. You won't regret it. I switched last January and by April, my page views had doubled 80% from Google. So that's just one of the examples. Another one of the examples is, hi all, has anyone made the switch from Squarespace to WordPress? Can you tell me a little about what you noticed in the change? And somebody responded and said, yes, I moved from Squarespace to WordPress last October. I had someone do it for me and my traffic went up almost immediately. My only regret is not doing it sooner. Now I only grabbed two examples because 
because there were hundreds of comments like this. And I did want to bore you with all of these. I only saw people who were switching from Squarespace over to WordPress have this kind of reaction. I also saw people ask about the opposite switch, switching from WordPress to Squarespace, and all of them had the opposite reaction, telling people not to do it because they actually saw a decrease in their traffic by doing so. Moving along, another one of the reasons why we recommend going with WordPress.org is because of the design and customization options available with WordPress.org. I'm going to get the pushback that Squarespace is a lot easier to use and you can create more beautiful websites. And I totally understand that. However, as a professional blogger myself, I know that the design of your website really isn't all that important as long as people can find the information that they're looking for. Designing your website and making it look quote unquote pretty is actually more for you than it is for your readers. And unfortunately, that's not how blogging works. You have to remember that your website is not for you. It is for your readers. Functionality is the most important part of designing your website along with the user experience overall. You want them to be able to, again, find the information they're looking for and to be able to do that quickly. And while Squarespace might be more pretty, it is limited compared to the customization options with WordPress.org. With WordPress.org, the users have access to thousands of themes and plugins that can help you tailor your website to meet specific needs. Whereas Squarespace has a much smaller selection and they don't allow you to include plugins, which can be an important part of growing your website. And finally, I want to talk about pricing because pricing with Squarespace is a one and done option. If you're going to go with Squarespace, you need to stick with Squarespace and the prices that they set for you. It's very difficult to move your website away from Squarespace. It's not impossible. And if you're thinking about moving it away from Squarespace, you certainly should. However, if you're going to stick with Squarespace, again, you have to stick with their pricing options. With WordPress.org, you will be able to choose your host. You will be able to choose where your website is being hosted and you can think of your host like a landlord and so to have the different options and the different pricing options is incredible you can start with a lower paying hosting platform say like a2 and then as you grow your website and want higher disk space or increased site speed you can move it away to a higher paying platform like big scoots it's totally up to you however you do have that flexibility in pricing when you're not with Squarespace. In the long run, you will save money with WordPress.org, so you might as well start with them in the first place because of all of the things we just talked about, and it's going to save you money. If you are apprehensive about using uh, WordPress.org. I totally understand that. It was a really big learning curve for me when I first started as well. However, it doesn't have to be as intimidating as you think it needs to be. And once you learn, it becomes like riding a bicycle. It's quite simple. Once you have your website set up, the only thing that you really need to do on your website is create posts and publish them, which includes adding photos and writing. It is quite simple. And again, the learning curve is a little steep at first, but it's nothing to be too intimidated by. If you are curious on how to set up your website with WordPress, you can actually grab my free guide that I've included in the description below. It will show you how to set up your website using WordPress.org and doing it the right way. I see a lot of people who are setting it up with maybe a slow theme or they're just choosing not to use WordPress in the first place. So grab that guide. Again, it is completely free and you can see how I go about creating my websites so you can model that. In that guide, I also talk about the best host for bloggers. So that's going to point you in the right direction for that as well. If you have any additional questions about using WordPress as opposed to Squarespace, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them and I'll see you in the next training.